Fellow Soccer Family, it's Ime with Black Girl FC. We are back for week number four of our new show with the USL, amplifying black voices within the league and highlighting stories from the community at the intersection of black culture and soccer. For those who have been rocking with us since week one, we appreciate you. And for those that are new, welcome home. Excited is not even the best word to describe how important this week's story is to us here at Black Girl FC, and especially soccer fans right here in the USA. Legend is not a term that's used lightly in sports, especially in the context of the world's most celebrated, most watched, and most respected sport, soccer. And that means giving respect where respect is due. This week, we're talking about a soccer legend that's born right here in the USA. A four-time Gold Cup winner, 11 seasons in the MLS, a three-time US Open Cup champion, a two-time Dutch League champion at PSV, a two-time Scottish League champion at Rangers, and check this, the only American player to ever play in four World Cups. We're talking about Indiana's very own and American soccer legend, Demarcus Beasley. Growing up, I was one of those kids who had a Beasley poster hanging on his wall to see myself represented in the game another black soccer player on the field doing his thing. That meant so much to me. And I'm so excited to talk about what's next for Demarcus Beasley. It's an achievement that for far too long has eluded black folks in professional sports. On October 28, 2020, the United Soccer League announced the addition of Indiana Fort Wayne FC to the league. In Fort Wayne, Indiana's very own Demarcus Beasley will be a part of the ownership group and have a first hand in running the club. After a 20 year career playing soccer all around the world, Demarcus Beasley is coming right back to Fort Wayne to pay it forward and create opportunities right here in his hometown. DeMarcus, how does it feel to be launching a club right here in your hometown? First and foremost, I'm um, extremely thrilled and excited uh, about the opportunity to join the ownership group and bring a professional team, professional soccer team to, uh, to my hometown. I grew up in Fort Wayne. I'm a Fort Wayne boy. My, my mom is from there. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's, it's 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 a dream come true to put it to put it uh, lightly. This is something that's uh, uh, it didn't happen overnight. Um, after I retired last season, because uh, it's only been like a year, a little over a year since I retired, but I knew I wanted. I didn't want to coach. I didn't want to um, go that route. Uh, I always liked the business side of the game, putting teams together, really creating um, uh, a culture and how. The team wants to play. How, uh, what kind of players you want? What kind of coach you want to coach the, the the team? You know, even as far as in a big thing with me is is, is the community, uh, working with the community, working with working with the kids, really uh, having some, having the support of the city that you work for. I think that's a, a big big thing for me. But what better way to do that than my my own city, my own hometown, my my family. My family's there, my brother, my, my mom and dad, my brother still live in Fort Wayne, you know what I'm saying? So that's uh, a, another, uh, you know, story to itself. So just all that, you know, combined together and with the opportunity that that was in front of me, I, I couldn't I couldn't say no. On behalf of Black Girl FC, Black soccer players and fans all around the world, Demarcus, we are proud of you. We salute you and we love to see it. Now we told you this is gonna be a very special episode. So before we go and catch you guys next week, we're gonna hear from some of Beasley's biggest fans. Demarcus Lamont Beasley. Nobody knows your government name. I think I might have exposed you right now, brother. But since we've known each other since we were like 15 years old, I had to do it. I couldn't be more proud of you to hear the news about you being an owner of a professional soccer team. Honestly, to see how far we've come together and see how far you've come from when we met each other at 15 years old to now, I couldn't be more proud of you as a man, as a teammate, and as your brother, man. You're making me proud, you're making your family proud, and you are definitely making your community proud. I know that I joke about how small Fort Wayne is and everything, but honestly, brother, you are making it large and you are putting them on the map. Couldn't be more proud of you. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you, and I'm always gonna have your back, brother. All right, take care, we'll talk. Hey, yo, Bees! Demarcus Beasley. Congrats, bro, on the USL team. I know we already talked about this, but it's official now, so you're officially a team owner. Big, 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 big things, man. I'm proud of you. I'm excited for you. I'm inspired by you. You know, I might have a reason to, to actually come to Indiana now. Or maybe I'll just get a team out here in Cali, bring my team to Indiana, smack you guys, and, you know, do it that way. But in all honesty, bro, I'm proud of you. I know how much Fort Wayne means to you. So to have a chance to give back to that city in a meaningful way through the sport that we all love and has given us so much, 
that's the that's the ultimate goal right there so bro i just want to say i'm proud of you i'm excited for this next step in your career and i look forward to coming out there and catching the game all the best my bro